Hey you, yeah you, let's talk China. Hey everyone welcome back. Today we're diving into something truly massive. China's trade explosion in 2024. We're talking a whopping $3.46 trillion. That's trillion with a T. Now, I know what you're thinking. Revo now, economics? On a Friday night, but trust me, this is juicy stuff. We're talking about a story of incredible growth, global impact, and maybe even a little bit of mystery. So grab your thinking caps and your skepticism, because we're about to unpack how China became the economic powerhouse it is today. Get ready for some surprising facts, terrible jokes, and maybe even a little bit of learning. Let's do this. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Okay, picture this. China is a giant vending machine. But not just any vending machine, it's the most sophisticated, high-tech and efficient one you can imagine. You put in raw materials, technology and a whole lot of hard work, and this machine doesn't just spit out a single product. No, it churns out an incredible variety of goods each. Meticulously crafted and ready for the global market. From the moment raw materials enter the factory doors, they are transformed through a series of complex processes. Out pops a mind-boggling array of products, each one a testament to China's manufacturing prowess. We're talking everything from smartphones and laptops, which are essential in our daily lives and keep us connected to the world, to clothes that fill our wardrobes, cars that drive us to our destinations, and even those tiny umbrellas for your cocktails that add a touch of whimsy to your drinks. China's been busy stocking this vending machine for decades, becoming the factory of the world. This didn't happen overnight. It took years of strategic planning, investment in infrastructure, and a relentless focus on efficiency and quality. And guess what? The world loves a good bargain. Consumers everywhere are drawn to the affordability and variety of products that come out of this giant vending machine. Demand for these products skyrocketed, sending those cha-chings echoing across the globe, ships loaded with goods set sail from Chinese ports, reaching every corner of the world and filling store shelves with products that people eagerly buy. But here's the kicker. China isn't just selling us stuff. They're also a major consumer buying a ton from other countries. This two-way trade fuels their own growth and creates a global economic web. This web is more interconnected than your grandma's Facebook feed. It's a complex network of trade relationships that bind countries together, making the global economy more resilient and interdependent. So next time you use a product, think about the incredible journey it took through China's giant vending machine. Not quite. Now, you might be thinking, hold on, Revo now, $3.46 trillion in trade? Are they just printing money over there? Nope. It's way more complicated than that. Think of it like this. China's become incredibly efficient at making things people want. They've invested heavily in infrastructure, technology, and training a skilled workforce. This means they can produce high-quality goods at competitive prices. And remember that global web we talked about? China's not just selling to us. They're trading with countries all over the place. This creates a complex flow of goods, services, and investments that all contribute to that eye-popping trade figure. Here's the million-dollar question. Is China's success coming at the expense of other countries? It's complicated. On one hand, China's growth has created jobs and opportunities for people around the world. They're a major market for raw materials, components, and finished goods, which benefits exporting nations. But on the other hand, some argue that China's dominance in manufacturing has led to job losses in developed countries. There are also concerns about unfair trade practices and intellectual property theft. The truth is, it's not a simple win-lose situation. China's rise has created both opportunities and challenges for the global economy. It's up to individual countries to adapt, innovate, and find ways to compete in this new landscape. China's winning formula, hard work and smart choices. So, how did China pull this off? It wasn't magic, folks. It was a well-orchestrated symphony of hard work, strategic planning, and smart choices. It was a combination of factors, including a relentless work ethic. Let's be real. 
China's workforce is known for its dedication and long hours. The people have shown an incredible commitment to their jobs, often working beyond the standard hours to meet production goals and deadlines. They've put in the sweat equity to become a manufacturing powerhouse. This dedication has not only increased productivity, but also ensured that China remains competitive on the global stage. Strategic government policies the Chinese government has played a major role in guiding economic development, investing in infrastructure, and supporting key industries. From building roads and bridges to developing high-speed rail networks, the government has laid down the physical and regulatory framework necessary for economic growth. Embracing globalization, China has been eager to participate in global trade, attracting foreign investment and opening up its markets to a certain extent, of course. By joining the World Trade Organization and entering into various trade agreements, China has positioned itself as a key player in the global economy. This potent mix has propelled China to the forefront of the global economy, but it's also created its own set of challenges. Rapid growth has led to environmental concerns, income inequality, and the need for sustainable development. As China continues to evolve, it must navigate these challenges carefully to maintain its economic momentum and ensure long-term prosperity for its people. The secret source why China's trade is booming. Let's break down the secret source behind China's trade dominance. It's a fascinating blend of strategic planning, economic policies, and sheer scale. It's like a delicious stir-fry of factors, each adding its own unique flavor, from government policies to technological advancements. Competitive pricing, China's manufacturing efficiency, and lower labor costs allow them to offer products at very attractive prices. This is a result of years of investment in infrastructure and technology, which has streamlined production processes. Who doesn't love a good deal? Consumers around the world are drawn to affordable products, and China has mastered the art of delivering quality at lower costs. Diversification. Remember that giant vending machine. It's a perfect metaphor for China's vast and varied production capabilities. China produces a massive range of products catering to every need and desire, from electronics to clothing, toys to machinery. The diversity is staggering. Growing domestic market, China's own population is a huge consumer base, driving demand for both domestic and imported goods. With over a billion people, the internal market alone is a powerhouse. Strategic partnerships, China has been actively forging trade agreements and partnerships with countries around the world, securing access to new markets and resources. These partnerships are not just about trade; they also involve technology transfer, investment, and cultural exchange. It's this combination of factors that has made China a global trade titan. The strategic vision, combined with relentless execution, has positioned China as a leader in the global market. Their ability to adapt and innovate continues to drive their success. Technological advancements, China's investment in technology and innovation, has also played a crucial role. From high-speed trains to cutting-edge manufacturing techniques, technology is at the heart of China's trade boom. Sustainability efforts. China is also making strides in sustainable development, investing in renewable energy and green technologies. This not only helps the environment but also opens up new markets and opportunities. Education and workforce development. By investing in education and training, China ensures a skilled workforce that can meet the demands of modern manufacturing and services. Cultural influence. China's cultural diplomacy and soft power also play a role in its trade success. By promoting Chinese culture and fostering international relationships, China creates a favorable environment for trade. In conclusion, China's trade boom is not the result of a single factor, but a complex interplay of multiple elements. It's a well-orchestrated symphony of economic strategies, technological advancements, and cultural diplomacy. This multifaceted approach ensures that China remains a dominant force in global trade for years to come. Buckle up! This trade train isn't stopping soon. Now the big question is, what does the future hold for China's trade dominance? Well, buckle up, Buttercup, because this trade train shows no signs of slowing down. China is investing heavily in innovation, moving up the value chain from made in China to created in China. In China, they're focusing on high-tech industries like artificial intelligence, renewable energy, and robotics. This means China is poised to become even more competitive in the global market. Challenging traditional economic powers and reshaping the landscape of global trade. What does China's success mean for you and me? Okay, revo now. Enough about China. What does this all mean for me? You ask.
Well, whether you realize it or not, China's economic rise affects us all. Remember those affordable smartphones and gadgets? Thank China's manufacturing prowess for that. China's growth has created jobs in sectors like logistics, manufacturing and technology both in China and abroad. China's role in global trade means we're all more connected than ever before. What happens in China affects markets and economies worldwide. So, next time you're scrolling through your phone or shopping for a new gadget, remember the role China plays in our increasingly interconnected world. Time for your two cents, what do you think? All right, folks, it's your turn. What are your thoughts on China's economic rise? Is it a good thing, a bad thing, or somewhere in between? Hit me with your hottest takes in the comments below. Let's get a good old-fashioned debate going. Just remember to keep it civil, or I'll unleash my team of internet fact-checkers on you. They're ruthless. I tell ya, more juicy topics, what else should we explore? Now that we've scratched the surface of China's trade boom, what other burning? Questions do you have about the global economy? Are you curious about the impact of artificial intelligence on jobs, the future of cryptocurrency, the ongoing battle against climate change? Drop your suggestions for future deep dives in the comments below. I'm always on the lookout for juicy topics that'll make you think, laugh, and maybe even learn a thing or two. Stay curious, my friends, that's all for today, folks. Remember, the world is a complex and ever-changing place. Stay curious, ask questions, and never stop learning. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and most importantly, stay hilarious. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.